Hello to everyone gathered in Grand Forks for Grand Farms Annual Space Ag Conference. As you know, I've been a strong supporter of investing in both space research and our state's biggest industry, agriculture. What a great combination, huh? It's only fitting that you've come together today to learn even more about their intersection and all of the ways that North Dakota can continue to remain, to be a national leader. We are one. We want to continue to be one. Each year, you use this time to put your heads together to tackle pressing issues using technology and space and here on Earth. And as academics, industry folks, government officials, students, especially students, you all have a role to play in the advancement of space ag research. It's great that you're all there together. And back, you know, when I led the effort to establish the Space Force in 2019, I witnessed some very surprised colleagues who just could not wrap their mind around the importance of what we were trying to do. A, a force that recognizes space as a, as a domain. I'm sure you've had similar reactions when explaining your work. While others see the idea as something out of a far-fetched sci-fi film, perhaps, you see it as a challenge to be tackled to improve our world. There's nothing you can't accomplish with a little bit of hardworking North Dakota grit and some common sense. Since I've been your United States Senator, I have had the, the high honor and the privilege of inviting many notable space and military officials to North Dakota to show them all what we have to offer. From Tim Hughes with SpaceX and, and the Space Development Agency's Derek Turnier, to Rear Admiral Lauren Selby, who leads the Office of Naval Research. Every guest has left impressed by the amazing innovation that occurs right here in our wonderful state. And as you might know, I even visited UND's own Paco de Leon down at the Kennedy Space Center last year to see his research firsthand. Not only are North Dakota farmers producing food for a hungry world, something we've done for a couple of centuries, but our agriculturalists are providing for astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Think of that. How cool is that? Last year at this this uh, same conference, I talked about the need to expand opportunities for our students to get involved in agriculture and, of course, STEM. To the students there today, you, you are the next generation of space research. The workshops offered at this conference are opportunities I never would have imagined when I was your age. And it wasn't as long ago as you might think. I hope you get a front row, hands-on experience and see the impacts you can make on our state and within our, our greater world. I, I hope you leave better informed with a, a sense of appreciation for our environment and, and are inspired to make your mark in this industry. Your innovative work will be the foundation of agricultural change both here and in space and every place in between. A growing world and a shrinking agricultural land requires big solutions from creative thinkers like you. After all, feeding a hungry world and feeding astronauts aren't that dissimilar from one another. You know, I look forward to, to watching your private-public partnerships grow. Please, as always, don't hesitate to reach out to me or to my office if we can ever be of assistance. All the best to you. God bless you.